तो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ ग्राउंड जीरो सीरीज फॉर गेट 2024 एस द टाइटल सजेस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैविटेशन इन दिस वीडियो सो गाइस कैविटेशन इज नॉट जस्ट अ स्मॉल वर्ड बट इट इज अ वेरी बिग प्रॉब्लम इन द इंडस्ट्री ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक मशीन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द बेसिक्स ऑफ कैविटेशन इफ आई आस्क यू ऑल that what do you think what is the boiling point of water what will be your answer i request you to pause this video and write the answer in the comment box okay i hope you have wrote your uh, answer in the comment box i know most of you will say the boiling point for the water is 100 degrees celsius but the point is that it is incomplete or i would say this is wrong information the boiling point of the water is 100 degree celsius at 1 atm or at atmospheric pressure for understanding this we need to know how boiling actually starts so there is a term called as vapor pressure it is nothing but just the pressure which is being applied by the vapor of any liquid on the surface of it now to boiling to start the boiling we need to make the vapor pressure and the and the uh, atmospheric pressure equal to each other once the pressure around the liquid and the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equal the boiling will start we can even start boiling the water in a room also that to at room temperature you can see i have some water and it is only about 45 degrees i'm going to put it into this vacuum pump suck the va suck the air out from above the warm water What you are doing is you are keeping the vapor pressure constant because you are not increasing the temperature. Once you increase the temperature, the vapor pressure increases. But you are not increasing the vapor pressure. What you are doing is you are decreasing the pressure inside the bottle. And as soon as the pressure of the uh, bottle and the vapor pressure of the fluid will become equal the boiling will start at the room temperature only without using any heat without using any fire so this is the basic fundamental behind the boiling now with a very practical example i'll tell you if you go on higher altitude where the temperature is very low or you as soon as you increase the altitude what actually happen is the atmospheric pressure starts falling down and that is the reason why when you go on hill stations when you go on any hill on higher altitude you will notice that things are getting boiled early in comparison to flat areas so that basically gives us the basic idea regarding how the boiling starts now why we are why we are interested in the boiling so everything starts from here only suppose we are having a siphon or suppose we are having a hydraulic machine where we are having like intentionally or unintentionally a section where the pressure is actually very low so there is a problem and that problem is what if the pressure for now let's take the example of siphon right so what if at the topmost point of the siphon the pressure becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the water at that time the boiling starts and once the boiling starts there will be formation of bubbles and these bubbles are not empty these bubbles comprises of steam and steam is more dangerous than fire and when these steam filled bubbles starts accumulating and they starts colliding with the surface of the pipe or maybe uh, you can say the propellers what happen is that they leave crater on them they leave holes on them and this makes 
the structure very weak and eventually this thing is called as cavitation this whole phenomena is called as cavitation so what is the solution how we can actually prevent the cavitation cavitation can be prevented by making sure that the pressure at the highest point of our hydraulic machine or the pressure wherever uh, we are reducing the pressure like in pump we do the you know to carry out the suction we decrease the pressure so the pressure that we are achieving after decreasing it should never be equal to the vapor pressure of the liquid once we can assure it once we can make sure this doesn't happen we can avoid this problem of cavitation so guys this is all about cavitation that you need to learn and always remember these type of questions can be asked in gate eac and other examination competitive examination for one mark or maybe sometimes two marks i hope this video you find very knowledgeable if that happened i'm glad please hit the like button share this video with all your friends and also if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel right now for more such informative and also good quality videos thank you so much for watching let's meet in the next video till then please take care of yourself and please take care of your family have a nice day